Hey guys, this video will be the part two to the last video that I filmed, Battle of the Brand, with the moisturizers retinol, mass cinema, and hyaluronic acid. Today is part two, so we're going to be doing vitamin C, toners, moisturizers, and sunscreen. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for all the feedback and all the support on this channel. It does not go unnoticed. I really appreciate it. Just want to give you guys all virtual hugs, so thank you. So today, like I said, is the second part to the video. We're going to be battling the same three brands, the Inculus, the Ordinary, and Materium. We're going to start off with their vitamin C. So vitamin C is a super controversial product, ingredient, whatever you want to call it. It's just hard to stabilize because it's so unstable. It's imperative to put vitamin C in a bottle that's like opaque so it's not transparent and vitamin C doesn't oxidize. The most potent form of vitamin C is ascorbic acid. It's really really tough to keep vitamin C in that form very stable so what a lot of brands do is they use a different derivative of vitamin C like glucosides or L-ascorbic palmitate or maybe using ascorbic phosphate. There's so many different forms and derivatives of vitamin C that are more popular just because of this uh, issue with stability for vitamin C. So starting with the Inculus. The Inculus has this one called 15% vitamin C plus EGF serum. It's $14.99. Again, not going to talk so much about price here. You guys already know the Inculus is going to be your second most affordable. The most affordable is the Ordinary and then the least affordable is Materium. So vitamin C from the Inculus. So they have a scorpion glucoside as their potent vitamin C in the formula. This one is a great derivative vitamin C. However, the conversion rate of this type of vitamin C into ascorbic acid is still unknown. A lot of research is still being done. However, it has great stability and it has great penetrative properties into the skin. Like I said, we don't really know how well it converts into ascorbic acid, but it's a great stable form of vitamin C. Going to the ordinary, the ordinary has some called 100% L-ascorbic acid powder. The actual form of vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, has to be super acidic for it to work. A lot of people tend to say that their skin reacts to it or causes irritation, so just just be aware of that. Finally, from the Naturium brand, they have this one called Vitamin C Complex Serum. This one, just right off the bat, is the most innovative one. They have this encapsulated vitamin C that's encapsulated in gold. It's, again, not well researched. It's still an ongoing research. We're still trying to figure out if this form of vitamin C really is going to give you uh, the same potency levels as an actual ascorbic acid. So effectiveness is still unknown, but definitely very innovative, and definitely new in the market. Next, we're going to go on to toner. So the only brand that has a toner is the Inky List. And you guys already know I have love for the Inky List, so yeah, they have this PHA toner. PHAs are the new sort of it girl in the market. They're like a big brother to glycolic acid, so if you find that glycolic acid is super reactive to your skin and it causes you irritation, PHA is a great alternative form of an AHA that is a lot milder than glycolic acid. It has bigger molecules, so it's still studying to see if it's very well able to penetrate the skin, but other than that, it's just a great uh, glycolic acid alternative. Another thing I love about this one is that it has castor oil, which castor oil is great. It has great moisturizing benefits to it. Other than that, I will recommend Ula Harrison one. I use that one. That one has AJs, BHAs, neem seed oil, and vitamin E. I love it just because, you know, it gives me all those great antioxidant benefits and just has AJs and BHAs to help melt away any dead skin cells from my pores. So that one I recommend. The rest of these other brands don't have any toners, so let's move on to moisturizers. Inculus has two. Two. Ordinary has just one. Materium has two as well. So we're going to start with the Inculus. The first one is a peptide moisturizer. This peptide moisturizer just has a lot of peptides in there. It has shea butter in there. The hydrating peptide solutions, which is great for your moisture barrier. This one I recommend if you have dry skin. However, I like the second option, which we have is the Bokuchu moisturizer. This one has squalene, which <laughs> Love squalene. This one also contains something called Sacha Inchi Oil, great fatty acid molecule that's great for moisturizing properties. It also has Bokuchio, plant derived form of retinol, great for all those retinal benefits, finalizing wrinkles, oilless skin, refined skin, cell turnover. So I would recommend the second moisturizer they have. Moving on to the Ordinary. The Ordinary has this one called the Natural Moisturizing Factor plus Hyaluronic Acid. So this one has a bunch of peptides right off the bat, a bunch of fatty acids, just a lot of moisturizing properties to it so it clearly was made for someone with really dry skin so if you have oily skin i wouldn't really advise this one just because of all these properties just be wary about this one from the materium they also have this one called niacinamide cream and my Mar marine hyaluronic acid water cream niacinamide cream it's really great too just know that this one does have coconut water coconut fruit juice so if you have sensitivity to coconut just do not get this one another thing with this two moisturizers from the materium they both have a lot a shit lot of filler ingredients there's a lot of extracts like this. You don't need all of those. 
best tracks in there. I like when brands like Ordinary just get straight to the point. You know, just, just get straight to the point. It's kind of annoying having to go through all of those ingredients for nothing, really. So yeah, I just want to point that out. The last thing I'm going to talk about is sunscreen. Very important when you skincare your routine. It should be the last step in your morning routine because you're going to be stepping out of the house. Definitely important to put sunscreen on to help deflect sun rays, stop the sun from bringing on this horrible radiation to your skin. So the only brand that does have a sunscreen is the Ordinary. The Inkey List has one SPF 30 sunscreen that says it's coming soon. The Turian brand doesn't have any at all. So the Ordinary has this one called Mineral UV Filter. So right off the bat, it has zinc oxide and titanium oxide because it's mineral. I personally don't like using minerals because I haven't found any mineral sunscreen that doesn't make me ashy or dry me out. So I, I'm sticking to chemical for now. Also want to try a hybrid brand that has both mineral and chemical, but I haven't tried one yet. But this one is a mineral sunscreen and it's an SPF 15. If you're a fairer skin tone, I just wouldn't advise to use SPF 15. I think you should use SPF 30 at least just because the more fairer your skin is, the more SPF you should be using for your skin tone. But that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. It means everything to me. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you like skincare talk and brain and beauty. I think the more we know about our ingredients, the better choices we make in our skincare products. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.